hello everyone in this video we are going to see how to use create record method from invoke salesforce rest api lambda function so whenever we set up salesforce service cloud voice from amazon connect we have invoke salesforce rest api function using which we can create records update records and as well as we can query records in this video we are going to see how to create records using create record uh, method um, so the first step is we have to install open ssl to generate certificate so make sure you install the open ssl uh, and uh, my recommendation would be please re uh, restart your system after you install and set up the path for open ssl else uh, you may run into issues like uh, the the open ssl commands are not uh, are not found so make sure you, know, you restart your pc so that you won't run into any issues uh, next is uh, once you install and restart you uh, once you install set the path uh, uh, for the open ssl and once you are done with restarting your pc uh, run all these four commands so the first command will generate server.pass.key file instead of some password you can enter any unique password and next is run this command to generate server.key file next run the below command to generate server.csr and finally run this fourth command it will and then it will generate uh, server.cert so this is the certificate we are going to use in salesforce connected app so that it will be uh, used for our authentication flow important thing is if we enter any password here the same password should be used here else you will run into uh, exceptions saying that password mismatch or uh, incorrect uh, key like that okay so i assume this pre-request is done and these four steps are done and now we have the um, cert to create a connected app So here, first create a connected app, enable OAuth settings, and uh, set the callback URL to localhost. Uh, if you want this URL, please check the video description. Uh, I will share my blog post, uh, and from my blog post, you can see some uh, screenshots and other references, which will be very uh, useful when you are setting it up. And uh, you can select the OAuth scopes So once this uh, connected app is created, you have to manage the connected app and then you have to edit the policies. So here I have set it to admin users are pre-approved and uh, refresh token policy, refresh token is valid until revoked. And I have added my system admin profile to it. So if you are creating an uh, integration user, make sure that integration user profile is added to this. Okay, so my connected app is created. I don't have any cases. I'm going to create the case from AWS. So this is the invoke Salesforce REST API function. So from which I'm going to create a case record. First important thing is set the configuration. The configuration, um, uh, set all this environment variables. once you are done with setting it up uh, one important thing is subject do not hard code your username create a variable in your uh, uh, parameter store so if you go to aws system manager and then if you go to parameter store you will be able to create parameters so create a parameter there so for example let's see what is in here okay um, let's see what is here in this audience since it is uh, uh, my production 
it should have uh, my production uh, URL or uh, it should be login.salesforce.com if you are testing it against a sandbox make sure it is tested.salesforce.com so always use all the parameters only these two um, things can be hard coded rest all should be from the parameter store okay so um, the, for this access token parameter name uh, you can enter any value if you are setting it up for the first time uh, you can leave it blank or you can enter test or something like that in this variable value audience uh, it should be login.salesforce.com if you are using uh, uh, production it should be tested.salesforce.com if, if you are using a uh, uh, sandbox next uh, consumer key parameter is nothing but if you go to your connected app you can click manage consumer details and then you will be able to get the consumer key from it so make sure you are setting the consumer key here and uh, private key param this is nothing but uh, we would have created server.key file so right click that server.key file copy entire content and paste it inside it will have some begin and end text also just copy the entire content and paste it and uh, this is your auth token endpoint and this is your rest api endpoint uh, make sure you are using your um, my domain url here and uh, subject is nothing but i have set it up a parameter where it will use your username here so if your username is tester tester.com or something like that you have to enter your salesforce username okay so once this is done uh, you can test it so this is the payload um, details parameters method is create record object api name is case subject these are all the fields in salesforce testing from lambda and description i have set status i have set priority also i have set so now if i run this it should create a case record for me there is some issue with my trigger so let me it created and this is the case record if you want this payload please check the video description I will share my blog post from which you will be able to um, find this payload so it did create so this is the subject we set this is the priority we set and this is the status we set so first step is we have to install open ssl second step is we have to generate a file um, please check the video description for the blog post from which you can find the commands uh, next is we have to create a connected app in salesforce and the fourth step is uh, in uh, AWS parameter store we have to create parameters and then we have to reference it in our uh, um, lambda functions environment variables and then you can use this uh, payload so that it will create records I hope it was helpful
Thank you for watching.